Once you're a pickle, you can never be a cucumber again. Once a pickle, always a pickle. You can't go back. Right? So a pickle, right? A pickle starts out as a cucumber, right? Has his whole life as a cucumber. Ah, cucumber. Living out, growing out of the ground. Mm, cucumbers. With other cucumbers, right? And then one day somebody says, Oh, you know what? I was going to stick it in this, this liquid, this vinegar. Mmm, make it something else, right? It goes through a chemical process. Uh, it becomes a pickle. Once a pickle, always a pickle. I right? can't go back, right? What the hell am I talking about? Politicians, the same thing, right? The Democratic and Republican Party are pickle factories, right? These Democrats and these Republicans and these do-gooders, right? These, the, the, the justice, justice Democrats and, 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 you know, brand new Congress. I love you guys, but once a pickle, always a pickle, right? You can't run, you can't run a cucumber campaign in a pickle factory, right? It's all corrupt. What is the what is the corruption? It's the money, right? Once you once you're in that, if you are truly a cucumber, right? We all are, right? We're the ninety nine percent of people are cucumbers, right? But then they go into that one percent pickle factory, and and that money is just it it you can't you can't keep yourself together because that's the system, right? Every they all take the money. And if you don't take the money, they, they, you're, you're shunted. You won't even get elected. Why? Because for the Democratic Party, they've already admitted that it's fake elections, that they pick the candidate. And if they don't like your face and they don't like the fact that you don't take the money and, and vote a certain way, they'll never let you through that hoop. Right? So once a pickle, always a pickle. And if you run in the pickle factory, you'll ultimately become a pickle. Right? Republicans are the same way. It's all about the money. So D.C. is a giant pickle factory where, you know, 1% of the population, you know, is, is, is on top of the politicians, you know, four, five, and seven times to one, turning those cucumbers into pickles for their own delight, for their own delicacy, right? I mean, the example... For, you know, for like in New York, I'm watching this election pretty closely. I've said that Cynthia Nixon running against uh, Andrew Cuomo in the Democratic primary cannot win because it's it, there's no there's no risk in cheating her, right? The Democratic Cuomo is the governor, and he's the incumbent. And if he were to lose in the Democratic primary, what a disgrace, right? They'll never let that happen, right? So. They'll cheat that one, make him win. And then he'll go against the deadbeat Republican and landslide it. That's, that's New York politics, right? Now, Cynthia Nixon could only, only rock that boat if she ran at the end in the general ele election as an independent against Cuomo. And who cares if the Democrat, who cares if the governor is Democrat or Republican? It doesn't really matter, right? But, but Cynthia Nixon thinks that she's going to be remain a cucumber in a pickle factory. And all the Bernie Kratz and all those people thinking that they're going to run in the Democratic Party, that somehow they're going to, they're going to change that. Right? It's just, it's just a, it's a fantasy, right? My, my view is that the only way to go is independent, right? To, the only way to remain a cucumber is to keep talking about it, is to keep is to keep keep your feet on the ground and don't let that pickle factory get you. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an independent journalist and independent candidate for the United States Senate in New York. Peace.